The Youth's Companion was a leading journal of uh, youth and educators back in the 19th century. Um, and um, it was uh, at the time of the Columbian Exposition in Chicago uh, for the 400th anniversary of the landing of Columbus in the New World uh, that uh, uh, the exposition, that it was thought that uh, patriotism was at a low ebb uh, due to the Civil War vets starting to die off and uh, Civil War having been three decades earlier. John Upham, the uh, uh, editor of the Youth's Companion, and Francis Bellamy got together and they decided, well, why not have a, a program for the youth in the schools on the very day of Columbus, on October 12th, um, you know, 1892. And so uh, they decided to uh, put a program together. And Francis Bellamy uh, decided to write up a pledge to the flag, which we now know as the Pledge of Allegiance. And it was first recited by thousands of school children uh, across the country at the appointed hour um, on Columbus Day, 1892. Uh, and looking at the Youth Companion when they published this, um, the version, version was a little different than, than it is today. Uh, Francis Bellamy again wrote these words, I pledge allegiance to my flag and the republic for which it stands. One nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And then at the program it says, uh, at the words, to my flag, the right hand is extended gracefully, palm upward, towards the flag. It remains in this gesture till the end of the affirmation. And while still standing, uh, the students uh, sing America, my country, tis of thee, which was written in 1832 by Samuel uh, Francis Smith, who was still alive then uh, in 1892. And uh, uh, Francis, or Samuel Smith's uh, only error was using uh, uh, God Save the King or God Save the Queen as the melody uh, for the tune. The uh, school children were um, uh, all given a little badge on that day which uh, when they recited the pledge for the very first time. And of course the pledge continued to be recited. Incidentally this is the uh, uh, imitation of the Columbian uh, Exposition. So you can kind of see it was quite a, an elaborate thing. Uh, there's a photograph also of uh, the main uh, area of the Columbian Exposition, so you can see it. Um, and uh, there was an ode for Columbus Day, and it was quite an elaborate program. But that's how the pledge uh, began. There were uh, almost immediate changes to the pledge. Instead of uh, pledge to my country, it was pledge to the country, um, to the United States of America. And other words were added. Uh, the, uh, the final uh, tweaking of the pledge was done in 1954, following the Second World War. And uh, um, the project was led through Congress by President Eisenhower, and they added the words under God to our pledge, recognizing uh, the hand of uh, providence in the creation and, and uh, the continuation of this experiment in uh, freedom that we call America.